you downloaded a NuGet package from the orchestrator, you unzipped it and you are not able to find the UiPath code. What is the reason for that? That is what we are going to see in this video. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mukesh Kala. I am a four time UiPath most valuable professional, certified solution architect and an advanced RPA developer. I am also a LinkedIn top voice. So in case you want to connect with me, feel free to share me a connection request and I would be happy to be part of your network. Also, you see a QR on the screen that is for the WhatsApp community. So and it, at any point of time, if you have any doubts, any questions, you can post in that group and the community members try to help you. Lastly, whenever there is a new video which is getting uploaded, you get a direct notification on the WhatsApp group. Okay. So in this what, why and the how series, typically we try to answer the questions which I receive over my email, Instagram, uh, over the WhatsApp or maybe directly in the comment section. Right. So recently what I have found is that there was a question which was about I downloaded a NuGet from orchestrator and I was not able to find the code. Right. And then there was a lot of discussion going on the group, but there has been some update into the UiPath product itself. Sometime it is available and sometime it is not available depending on what the developer has did the setting right so I thought it would be a good idea to just record a video about it so that everybody can benefit out of it so today we are going to see a background that what actually used to happen previously how the developer used to get the code what are the changes and then what are the settings you need to do in your path studio right you might be an experienced RPA developer so please use the timestamp in the description to go to a specific sections right and in case you don't have the background feel free to watch the complete video okay lastly before getting started in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in the same playlist having said that let's get started Okay, so I am into my UiPath orchestrator and first of all, let's try to see how the developer used to download a NuGet and extract the code, right? So this is the community edition guy. So you should be able to relate. Okay, so I go to the tenant and I go to this guy, which is the packages, right? And these are all the NuGet packages which we have uploaded. Okay, so I have recently deployed a process which is called a sample process deployment, which has some code in it. Okay, so now whenever I have to extract the code from the thing which is already deployed into the orchestrator, I used to simply go here, click on the three dots, right? And then there is something which is called view the versions, right? And then you have all these versions which are available, right? So I can click again on these three dots and I see download a package. Okay. And that used to download a NuGet package for me. And now the developer simply used to go to the NuGet package and extract the code out of it. Okay. In case you don't know how do you extract the code out of the NuGet, let me teach you that as well. Okay. So I have this guy which is downloaded, which is the NUPKG. The first thing first is you need to just go here, rename it, right? And change the extension from NUP k g to zip right and then it you will get a warning message do you want to change the extension i say yes okay and that way you are able to get the NuGet package directly into the zip right and all you have to do is now just go here and extract all and that's it right so that's how you were able to extract, uh, convert the new get into the zip and you were able to extract the code, right? So previously for the developers, it was available uh, somewhere in the net 42, some folder, right? But now with the updates, it's a little changed. So previously it was available in the leaf folder and into here but now you see it's not here right and there are new folders right so one thing is developer always uh, don't forget to check all the folders so all you have to do is just go to the content and in the content you can see that i have the file one file two and the main dot xaml file okay so i can just double click on this guy right and it should open the code from the new get which i just downloaded right So this is happening for me and sometimes this might not happen for you, right? So the reason for that is whenever 
you publish the code from UiPath Studio in the enterprise on the previous version, there was no option actually to go and include the sources. So in one of the previous updates of UiPath, UiPath told us that as a developer, whenever you are deploying the code to the orchestrator, make sure that you use this option, which is called include the sources, which simply meant that in case you want to include the XAML files into the NuGet or not. So if the developer forgot to check this one, you have not included the sources in the NuGet, right? So now when you download, you don't have the code, right? But now the problem is some of you who are in the, let's say, enterprise in the older version, you might get this option, include the sources because it's an older update. But now if I go back to my UiPath Studio, okay, let me just open that, right? This one, right? And you, you can see that this is the same code, which I just downloaded from the orchestrator right and i am able to see all those things right so now as per ui path you all are looking for this option which is available here include the sources right now if i go here i click on publish okay and let's try to see if this option is really available or not right so in the publish options okay i'll go back to my orchestrator here in this guy, I am trying to do this one. The current version is 1.0.2. This is fine. In the publish option now, it only have one option, which is remove unused dependencies. However, as per the screenshot, which I have, which is an older one, you are having an option to include the sources, which is not here, right? So that means you are not able to include the sources or have that setting right and that is where most of you are getting confused right so don't you don't need to confuse that this option is available but it has shifted from this window to somewhere else right let me show that to you so this setting is basically available for the project so i'll just cancel this right so this is my project sample process deployment and this is the project okay in the project, all these settings are project specific. So that's why they are available into the project and into this guy, which is the settings. And if you scroll down here, you can see that I had include the sources turned to on. Right. So when I published my package last time, I had make sure that I include the sources. And if I hover this, it says that if checked, all the XAML files would be available into the NuGet, right? And that's why when I downloaded it, I was able to get the file into the content folder. Okay. Now let me show you what happens if you just go here and you toggle this guy to off. Include sources is now toggled to off. Okay. And I just say, okay. And that setting will be applied. Now, if I go here and you can see I have file one, file two, file three, I just publish this, right? First time we saw include sources was on, it was gone, right? So now the new version is 1.0.3. Please remember the version 1.0.3. Okay. So the th third version I am saying do not include the sources. I just go next and I publish it to tenant feed and I publish this. Okay. So now this time. I am publishing a NuGet package and I am saying that, hey, do not include the sources. Okay. Now let's see how does it behave. Okay. It's deployed. Let's go back to the orchestrator. I'll hit a quick refresh. Okay. Five seconds ago, it's published. I go here and I say, uh, sorry, my bad, view the versions. And here you can see nine seconds ago. Uh, nine minutes ago, it was 1.0.3. 14 seconds ago, this one 1.0.3. I just go and I download this package now. 1.0.3 sources toggle to off. Okay. Okay. So this is our new NuGet 1.0.3. The same steps. I'll just rename it and I'll change it to dot zip. Hit enter. I want to change it. Yes. And then I just say extract all okay and i say extract okay so it will extract and uh, here it is right so in the 1.0.2 version the files were available into the 
content folder this is 1.0.2 okay now let's go to 1.0.3 which is this guy which we recently extracted open it you have the leaf and in the content you don't have the files right and this is the place where a lot of you were trying to find the xaml files by looking doing this dot xaml right and you are not able to find this because because the reason is simple right you didn't told ui part to include the sources so you have didn't include the sources right now in the 1.0.2 where you included the sources if you just go and search dot xaml you will have the xaml files right so the setting differs depending on the version in case you are using the cloud version which is on the latest right so the setting is available onto the project settings here this is the setting right include the sources do you want it or you don't want it right and in case you are using a previous version which is might be an enterprise version for you this setting was available during the publish options which is here which is the include the sources right so that's it right so i hope you guys found this video insightful any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well right so with this i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching feel free to drop me a questions on what why and the how series again you know where to post the questions you can put it on the chat or email me right so wrapping this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation